Good evening, I'm Carrie Lazarus. And I'm Rod Wood, and we are learning new details about yesterday's tubing accident on Skenny Atlas Lake, including the identities of the father and daughter who were injured. Sheriff's deputies tell us that eight-year-old Kaylin Driscoll is in critical condition at Upstate University Hospital with serious head injuries. Her dad, 32-year-old Christopher Driscoll, is also hospitalized. He is expected to be okay. Investigators say they were knocked off their inner tube by a wake, and as their boat was circling back, they were hit by the propeller. News Channel 9's Beth Zeffler was live in Skinny Atlas. Beth, uh, this all comes back to always making sure safety is the number one priority. That is right, Karen Rod. The scene is long since clear, but the tragic incident still in the minds of many people out here today, serving as a reminder just how quickly a day of fun can turn ugly. Today's water calm, but emotions running high. It's heart wrenching. Yeah, it's just terrible. Families who frequent the lake realizing how quickly this could happen to any one of them. Well, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And it's, everybody going to say, oh, it's the parents' fault or something like that. But what parent would want that to happen? The accident also bringing to the surface his own fears of bringing his nine grandkids fishing. They're too little. I don't care if they're 10, 12 years old. Things will happen. I don't care if you have a lice vest or not. You know, it's just different times like that little girl. Tubing is generally um, the easiest. Stephen Laffer, owner of Boatworks Limited, says tubing is relatively safe and most people are careful. But every tube he sells comes with a list of do's and don'ts. You've got anywhere from 50 to 100 foot of line behind you that is trailing and you have to watch where you're going, other boats, and keep your eyes open for other obstacles on the water, other boats, things like that. A 19-year study completed in 2013 found water tubing-related injuries increased 250 percent from 1991 to 2009. Just like a car, Laffer says it all falls on the driver, who should be keeping their eyes peeled for danger on the water, especially with tubers in tow. You can bounce them too much, they can get thrown from it. If you go too fast or too rough with small children, they can't control it. You, you, the driver of the boat it really has to control everything. That store owner also recommends using life vests with clips over zip, uh, zippers and says that if you are doing any water sports to make sure that vest is fitted. For now, live on Skinny Atlas Lake, Beth Cephalou for News Channel 9.